This is a quick video for the Biden supporters, the Democrats that still blaming Trump uh, for everything that's going on now. I want to ask you a question. If Trump is the reason why we're in the condition we're in now, what exactly did Biden do since he's been in office? If we're dealing with what Trump did when he was in office, then that means Biden hadn't done anything for America since he's been in office, which means Biden is a failure because his attention is focused on other nations and not focused on America. So if the gas prices are soaring, if inflation is because of Trump, then that means Biden is not doing his job. He is not keeping the promises that he made. Now, I find it quite interesting that when Trump came into office after Obama said that he's going to need a magic wand to bring jobs back, Trump came in, signed executive orders, the job started increasing, gas prices went down, more money in your pocket, stock market went up, North Korea stopped flying his missiles. A lot of positive things started happening. The, S the HBCUs were funded. So, the Biden supporters and the Democrats started giving credit to Obama. Well, the reason why the economy is so good is because Obama got it started. It's because of what Obama did. So now that Biden is in office and Trump is gone, and we see the results of what Trump, as a matter of fact, if you look at the stock market, if you watch, it, it's, it's going up and down, okay? But it hadn't really moved up since Trump has been out of office. But you're now blaming Trump for the damage that Biden did. But you're not blaming, you're not saying the reason why the economy is still doing pretty good, even though we're going through a lot. We came out of a pandemic, you know, gas prices are high. Uh, Biden is talking about a food short shortage, uh, a war going on in Ukraine. And you guys are saying it's Trump's fault. So Trump get no positive credit, even while he was in office. Make up your mind. All right. And I know, I know that you don't want to take credit for the mistakes you made because even though you voted for Biden, you voted Democrat, even though we told you not to, you ignored what we told you. And now you're reaping the consequences of what Biden did and what he didn't do. He did, he, he made a lot of promises to black people. Never kept not one promise, but yet he signed an executive order to protect the gays, to protect the Asians, but black people, forget about it. He gave reparations to illegal immigrants. He gave reparations to Asians. He's given reparations to the Ukrainians, but the black people, forget about it. But yet, you're still holding on to Biden's hand. He's leading you straight to hell. And you're so brainwashed and conditioned that you still think it's Trump's fault. And usually the people that are still blaming Trump are people that don't even listen to the news outside of CNN. See, you go according to what CNN tells you, that's gospel. Although it's been all in the media that CNN has been lying to you. 
but yet you're still holding on to hope of the Democrat Party and they're leading you right straight to hell, right down the tube. And you refuse to give credit where it's due. You're taking Trump's work and giving it to Obama. And you're taking Biden's errors and giving it to Trump. Come on now. Now y'all know that this is all on Biden. You know that this is your man. This That's your man. That's your man. You support Biden. Look at his approval ratings. I bet none of you looked at Biden's approval ratings. Guarantee you never looked at Biden's approval. I, I challenge you to Google Biden's approval ratings and disapproval ratings right now. Look it up. Just look. Don't, don't take my word for it. Look up Biden's approval ratings. And then you come back and tell me if his approval ratings are low because of Trump. So you can't win for losing. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe till next time. I'm fearless.